Radio Mount Carmel Academy was founded nine years ago. It was founded by the Society of St. Pius X. Father Rostand was the district superior in Canada at the time. And in 2008, Father Peter Scott and Father Dominic May were assigned to Our Lady of Mount Carmel Academy for the opening year. Now initially there were uh, very few boarders, but over time it became apparent that people from from all over uh, Canada and even the United States, especially the states that are closest to Ontario, uh, wanted to send their boys to board here. That's why we took the decision uh, a few years ago that we needed to be able to accept more boarders. We began planning for our new boarding house uh, about three years ago, and I remember telling people that we would hopefully have it ready within a year but uh, we discovered that Providence uh, didn't want us to move quite so fast. We got hold for some time, not only because of the township, but most notably because of the Ministry of Environment and Climate Control. And that being so, they, they noticed things that they wanted us to correct, and yet the communication wasn't very, shall we say, very um, frequent. And so we had to we had to take a bit of an initiative and contact the MOE and ask them to look at the case. The uh, Ministry of the Environment wanted to do an environmental scan of the soil that was there because we wanted to see the taxation of having another septic system in the same property as the existing one. So that was the main delay for, for about two years, waiting for the uh, Ministry of the Environment to give us approval for our septic system. So they did that this past June on uh, the Feast of the Sacred Heart. They let us know that we were ready to go ahead and then that being the case, the local township, Wilmot Township, was able to give us our building permit the following week. That's why we're now ready. Our Lady of Mount Carmel was the first boarding school for English-speaking Canada. That was an excellent reality in itself to be able to have this beginning of a boarding school, a facility where children could go and learn Catholic education somewhere reliable. In Canada there are quite a limited number of traditional Catholic schools. The Society of St. Pius X has three traditional Catholic schools, one in Quebec City, the Holy Family School, and there is one in Calgary, St. John Bosco School, but neither of these schools are boarding schools. So Our Lady of Mount Carmel Academy is the only school run by the Society of St. Pius X in Canada that accepts boy boarders. Now, the important thing for us to remember is that a big project like this only comes together, only happens with the help of many people. And we've been very blessed so far by the great help and volunteering of, of many people, in particular by the donors who have come forward to, to pledge and to make this, this possible. Archbishop Lefebvre laid down a rule for the priests of the society that we shouldn't begin any new project unless we have half the money ready to go. Thank God we were able to, to, uh, to find half the money, but that means we still need to find the other half. And that's why I would ask anybody who believes in Catholic education and sees the necessity of Catholic education to help us. Now there are a number of ways of doing that. Uh, the first way that everybody can do is to pray for the project. Something like this only happens with the help of God. And when you have a, a school that's entirely voluntary, in the sense of we don't receive any funding from government, then it requires a lot of sacrifice. And we need the blessing of God. So what I would ask is for everybody to, to pray for the project, pray for its successful completion. Also, people can help in a practical way by donations. If everybody makes a donation, even if that donation is perhaps only of $100, all of this will come together to, to make it possible. Uh, thirdly, we are interested in getting loans. It is beneficial for us to arrange uh, loans with private individuals. And uh, fourthly, there's lots of scope for volunteering, so people who live in the uh, local area and to have time to volunteer. There will be various parts of the work that we will be able to, to do ourselves. The key thing to understand is that uh, we can only do this with with the help of everybody and with the uh, with the sacrifices of, of everybody. But of course all of these things are, are under the 
guidance of God, of guidance of Providence, and especially of Our Lady of Mount Carmel and St. Joseph, who's been uh, looking after us in the developments over the past few years. And we know that the, the delay is, is providential. It's, uh, it, there's a good reason why we've been delayed. I'm not quite sure what it is yet, but uh, we, we know that it is all under the guidance of Providence.